Bukaya, first of all, congratulations on the goal. Congratulations on the victory. That second half performance just, I mean, it must be so enjoyable to play in. Yeah, it definitely is. You know, of course, it was a big difference the first half and the second half. And we we're so happy that we could have we could make this turnaround and obviously scoring three goals against West Ham is, is not easy. So it shows the quality we played with. We just had a chat with Matt Turner, of course, for our American audience. And he said that at halftime, there wasn't too much frustration. Is that right? No, it was all calm because we know that we, we had a lot of possession, but we just wasn't being the most effective with it. So, you know, in the second half, we changed that. Robbie, do you want to ask? Just watching you play, um, just fascinated to know how your coach has developed you and how he wants you to develop, um, to produce assists and goals from a wide area. I see you making those runs inside, the fullback comes to the outside. Is that something that he's worked with you directly over the last couple of seasons? Definitely, definitely. Um, he's, he's coached me a lot and helped me a lot in terms of obviously trying to get in, in better goal scoring positions and obviously trying to be more creative for my team and create chances. But of course, I have to give credit also to my teammates. Mm. You know, the way we play, the way we, we have an understanding of each other, you know, it helps me a lot when I'm on the pitch. So. That's important. How difficult has it been, Kyle, from the disappointment of England to getting yourself back in the right frame of mind and then playing as you performed today? Mm. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not easy. Um, of course, it was really disappointing to go out of the World Cup, you know. I thought we had the quality to go all the way, but, you know, we, we do have the quality to go all the way in future tournaments, I believe that. But, um, yeah, coming back here, of course, we, we had a few days off to relax the mind, but coming back here, you know, you have more motivation, you know, because obviously for me losing, you know, we have another chance to come back here and win. We're still in two, you no, know, three competitions, so we have a chance to win. So this is my motivation and this is what's keeping me going. Tim? Yeah, you're, you're a joy to watch uh, on Thank the you. field, but what you stand for off the pitch is, is really just blown me away. I, I, I must say that to you. I have a ton of respect for you. I've watched you over the last couple of years grow, grow into this man. And now when I watch you for England and when I watch you for Arsenal, the ball's always at your feet. The players, the fans, the country, the world, they expect greatness from you. How do you handle that balance at such a young age? Um, I think it's just, it's just my dream, you know. I'm living my dream <laughs> and I'm just trying to be myself, you know, not be anyone different. And, you know, every time I get the chance to play here at the Emirates and play in an Arsenal shirt, play in an England shirt, I just want to give my best and give my all and try and win trophies and, you know, make the people happy. So this is all I try and do. I don't think too much about it, you know. Wonderful. But thank you for, for your words at the start. Absolutely. Thank you. Bukaya, remind us how old you were when you came to Arsenal. Well, I was about seven or eight. Wow, OK. So you've seen a few <laughs> transitions over the years from Wenger um, down through a couple of managers and now with Mikel Arteta. It's the same club, but it's a little bit different. It certainly feels a bit different this season. Could you describe maybe what that difference mm. is? I think I understand what you're saying. Um, <laughs> to, descri to describe it, I, I'm not so sure, but I feel like, you know, it's just the, the way the whole club has just come together, you know, from top to bottom, you know, the way we come here and the fans receive us, you know, I feel from when I first started playing here to now, you know, the way I'm looking forward every time to come to the Emirates because I know the fans, you know, no matter what, even if we go one nil down, you know, they're cheering for us, you know, that normally doesn't happen. So that, first of all, gives us more belief and we have a fantastic uh, manager. We have new signings that have come in and helped us so much and, you know, we just have so much belief that each game we can win it. So I think that's the... The, the biggest change and you know if we don't win the game I feel like it hurts us much mm. more than mm. it used to you know I feel like we're really hurt so yeah you're seven points clear mm -hmm. Robbie Musto said after the game they're just brilliant they're just brilliant they look a little bit like Manchester City they're just brilliant you are in pole position and you're going to get asked this question a thousand <laughs> I was, times I was going to ask it. <laughs> now May, I'm asking it <laughs> it is your dream we know that the staying power. It's about, of course, the staying power. You got it? Not you, I mean everyone. <laughs> I think, well, if, if, just to be clear, you're talking about winning the title. The title, yeah. okay. Um, no, I think obviously right now, it's still a dream. We have to take each game as it comes, you know. You know, everyone always says the same answers, but <laughs> I, can't, I can't stand here and, and tell you because I'm not, I'm not God. But you know, I really hope we can do it. And you know, if we keep playing like this and the fans keep supporting us like this, you know, we have a, a massive chance. So. Well, they're supporting you here and they're supporting you mm. from the United States as well. You're massively popular in America, Arsenal, and you as well, Bukai. So listen, we know you're a busy man. Thank you so much. I'll take the Thank mic. You. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining us live on American TV. Thank you, Bukai. Brilliant stuff there.
Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.